Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sharon and this is Classy Shades Designs. I have missed, 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 missed you and I'm so glad to be able to bring you into my little world today and um, introduce you to some bases that I'm getting ready to create. So, long story, condensing, condensing, I'll try to condense, but I haven't seen you guys in so long, I just feel like I need to talk and share so much stuff that's going on. But, here's what we're doing. We're going to create some vases. We're going to put some epoxy on these vases because they'll be for a giveaway at one of my sorority events. First, uh, sorority sisters, if I could um, do my classy shade magic and create some unique gifts to give away for honorees and for the keynote speakers. So if you want to see what I created and maybe do a look similar for a center skate or tablescape at your space or for a gift or giveaway or just because then keep watching but let's get crafting i miss you guys so for this project i'm going to use these hurricane votives i'm also going to use the stained glass uh, by krylon and then the pearl metallic and the top coat by Rustoleum to give me a base and a clear coat on top for all of my glasses. I also created some um, homemade ink using alcohol ink and a Sharpie. I just took the Sharpie ink tube out of the tube and put it inside of this container. I did this for blue and for the black so that I would have each of those colors. I went ahead and took my hurricane vases outside and I spray painted them I did the um, glass blue on two of them and I also did two of them with the base coat and I decided that I would make one with the frosted look and I spray painted that frosted but I think I'm going to do a little bit more to it a little later so let's just go ahead and get started with making glitter on the blue one using a container I am going to um, mark where I want the glitter to how far I want the glitter to go up on my hurricane vase so I just took this little um, container and I'm holding my sharpie on it and I'm spinning it and marking it where the container will go now that I have that marked I am going to use my electrical tape to tape it off and I found that I like electrical tape better because it um, has elasticity in it and I can get a better um, bend on it than I can with regular painters tape. So then I'm coming in now with my Mod Podge and I'm going to put a heavy amount of Mod Podge on the bottom of this so that we can glitter it. And you want to make sure that you get out as best as possible all of the heavy seams and so I'm just going to go over it several times until I have the seams out and then I'll just take my glitter mixture which I put together already which is a couple of shades of blue different shades of blue and some silver and a small amount of white in it to give it an extra sparkle and we'll just make sure that this has glitter all over it and we're going to do this a couple of times I'm going to stand up and get a better um, control of it but we'll glitter this a couple of times and once we have it done I'm just going to tap off the extra to make sure and look at it real careful to see if there are any spots that didn't get glitter on them and then we can concentrate some glitter into those spots and allow this to dry. I'm going to apply two coats to this once this first coat dries. While we're allowing that one to dry I'm going to go ahead and take the base that I spray painted with the pearl metallic blue and I'm going to use the alcohol ink and start dabbing this on here and I'm just using a makeup sponge to do this with because it's alcohol if you happen to get it on your hands or get it in a different place you can just use plain alcohol and a paper towel to get it off or if you feel better you can use some plastic gloves and they'll work just as well there's no right or wrong way to do this you just take the ink that you want and dab it on until you have your desired look I got the blue all over it and then I came in with some black and I am using black ink to give it just a little different dimension on the bottom make it look a little heavier toward the bottom and I'll go back in a couple of times with the alcohol ink because it does dry fast here I put a little bit too much black on it for my liking so I'm going to come in with some alcohol on the sponge and just lighten it up a little bit 
to help blend it in a little bit more. And this is what they looked like when they were done. So I'm gonna take these outside and spray them with the clear coat again so that they can be nice and sealed and it doesn't uh, nick or damage or wear off when we touch it to give it a really nice shimmer to it and a nice seal on it. So if you want, once you spray that top coat on here, you can be done and these would be ready for you to use. You can put a couple of coats of the top coat and be perfectly fine. I'm going to go one more step further because these are going to be gifts for an um, event that we're having for the Zetas. So I'm going to go ahead and create some designs to put on the front of them as you see here. And then I'll go one more step and seal this all in with some epoxy. So using this two part amazing clear cast epoxy, I'm going to mix this together and give it what I would call a store finish. And again, you don't have to do this part. This is just that one extra step that I think helps make it classy and seal it all in. So after I mixed my two equal parts of the epoxies together, I then went ahead and I started put, pouring it onto my hurricane vase. And this is what I'm doing right now is just making sure that I have it over the vinyl so that the vinyl when you touch it and it's all complete it'll be just one smooth glass and you won't be able to feel the um, difference in the layers there so I'm going to make sure I get a nice smooth covering and cover all the glitter and all the glass and now I'll just start it to rotate so that while this is drying it'll help it dry even and this is just a um, homemade rotisserie that I cup rotisserie that I made I've saw in a YouTube video and created one for myself because I've really gotten into making these uh, tumblers and, and um, vases on here and I just absolutely love it so we'll let this dry overnight and I'll also do the other ones exactly the same way and this is how they turned out which I'm very proud of them so let me give you a little close-up of what I did the one that I had frosted that I was making for the keynote speaker, I went ahead and spray painted a really light coat of blue on it and then I glazed it over and this is what it looked like when it was done. It's really nice you guys. And then this one, I did the other ones the same way. I put the nice glaze over it, I put the honoree on them and I even put a little bit of sparkle inside of the glaze so that it would have some shimmer to it. And they turned out really good. This is something you totally can do at home. You don't have to have a rotisserie for it. Here, I'll put a little light inside of here so you can see it. You don't have to have the rotisserie. You can just put a thin coat over it and use it to take it to that next step with the epoxy. So I hope you like it. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, stay classy.